Henry Cavill has had an interesting year, leaving both The Witcher and his role as Superman. But the strangeness of his story appears to be only expanding with a new adaptation of the classic tabletop game Warhammer 40,000 on the horizon. So what exactly is Warhammer? Warhammer 40,000 is a role-playing game that was first released in September 1987. It takes place in a distant future when humanity is on the verge of either its greatest potential or its darkest era. The empire of humankind is under attack from a variety of enemies, including traitors driven by ambition, alien empires sworn to retake the stars, and the distorting of reality by evil gods. The core gameplay of Warhammer hasn't changed much over the years, despite many different interpretations of the original formula. The objective of the game is to eliminate all of the opposing players by controlling soldiers and vehicles across various battlefields. If you think this is just another board game, though, think again. If there is anything easily comparable, one might find Warhammer to be similar to Risk, but with cosmic terrors on the battlefield giving it a bad case of the jitters. Yes, Warhammer isn't just about people going into these huge battles on the battlefield. Elves, orcs, and other supernatural and extraterrestrial creatures can also be found among the human soldiers while playing this game. In a tabletop battle, you might see armies being wrecked by machine guns, swords, laser weapons, and even a staff known as the Crozius Arcanum. Does that sound crazy? Yes, because it is. It's both ridiculously cool and a little unsettling to consider that a studio as large as Amazon will be adapting such an outlandish story for the big screen. Since its inception almost 40 years ago, Games Workshop's miniatures, source books, tabletop games, animations, novels, a wealth of licensed content, and video games have all contributed to the ongoing expansion of the Warhammer universe. Fans of the Warhammer 40k tabletop games won't care that Henry Cavill is no longer Superman or The Witcher because he is bringing the series to our screens. The sci-fi fantasy universe created by Games Workshop will be the backdrop for films and or TV shows that he will executive produce and star in that have been signed by Amazon Prime Videos. Here's everything you need to know so far. Amazon is still in the final stages of acquiring all of the game's rights. However, it currently only has an executive producer position and lacks any writers or other relevant positions. Therefore, it is too early to announce an exact release date. The project is still in its very early stages, as Cavill himself noted, and no director or other filmmakers have yet been hired. Furthermore, it's unclear at this time whether his company and Amazon intend to produce a film, a TV show, or even both. Warhammer can really be Cavill's proper chance at a franchise that could last for years, despite how shocking the actor's Superman and The Witcher news has been. As Cavill advances in Hollywood, Warhammer may also change the course of his career, because it is the first project on which he collaborates as both an actor and a producer. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already! <laughs> Only one day after Cavill and Gunn announced that he would not be playing Superman again, the Warhammer gig comes at a particularly interesting time. As 2022 comes to a close, 2023 should start off with some swiftly positive news regarding Cavill's Warhammer series. So far, Henry Cavill is the only confirmed actor. The actor was among the first to promote the project, posting a new teaser video and a lengthy statement on Instagram about embarking on what he refers to as a Warhammer cinematic universe. In addition to cheering on his partnership with Amazon, Cavill stated that, quote, our first steps are to find our filmmaker, creator, and writer. He also wrote that it was his dream for over 30 years to see Warhammer in live action. He promised the fans that he will respect the IP all fans love and that he'll bring something familiar, something fantastic, and something new. Sounds amazing, right? Alongside one of the biggest names in the genre, Henry Cavill, this new Warhammer 40,000 show is being developed. Henry Cavill has portrayed both Superman and Geralt of Rivia, as was previously mentioned. In addition, he has portrayed villainous August Walker from Mission Impossible Fallout, as well as Napoleon Solo from The Man from Uncle, and Sherlock Holmes in the Enola Holmes movies, among others. 
Henry Cavill consistently accepts roles in television shows that he enjoys. And he is not just an actor who has stepped into the shoes of one or two major franchises. After the difficult double whammy of leaving The Witcher and then losing his role as Superman in the DC Universe, it's difficult to imagine Cavill simply phoning in this new Amazon series. Most people agree that he has placed the majority, if not all, of his chips in this basket. This is definitely Cavill's creation, because in addition to executive producing it, he also stars in it. The extravagances of the Warhammer world will remain intact once the series premieres on the Super Streamer, reassuring any fans who were concerned that Amazon might dilute it. Cavill has expressed interest in a film or television adaptation based on stories from the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Cavill stated that the IP, quote, needs to be handled to a Lord of the Rings level in any potential film or television adaptation. If it's not, I'll be massively disappointed, the actor proceeded. So if Warhammer can be as wacky as Henry Cavill and the fans want, what should less familiar audiences expect? Well, there are many different influences on this series. The incredible influences on his work that game creator Rick Priestley cites are numerous. Lord of the Rings and Dune, two of the more well-known sci-fi and fantasy works that one might anticipate, were in fact the sources of inspiration for Warhammer. Fans of both fantasy and hard science fiction might be able to make a safe bet on Amazon's new series, because Warhammer blends both genres. Many of the game's darker elements, especially its more ethereal alien corners, were heavily influenced by the works of H.P. Lovecraft. If Lovecraftian horror is added to the mix, Warhammer will undoubtedly stand out from its contemporaries, even though Cavill's adaptation is likely to have the grand scope and spectacular feel of both Dune and Lord of the Rings. There was a time when a series of Lord of the Rings movies seemed like a crazy idea, despite the fact that the culmination of these influences may not sound like the most approachable final product. Come on, let's play some Warhammer, embrace the whack, and get crazy! How can this not be enjoyable? It's exciting to hear that Cavill is considering joining a different enduring franchise. After hinting at his potential involvement earlier this year, he recently confirmed he would be interested in playing a part in an adaptation of the Mass Effect video game. For those who have been impressed by Cavill's familiarity with the lore and enthusiasm for the hobby, the possibility of a Warhammer 40,000 adaptation is welcome news. While Warhammer 40,000 is well known throughout the world, the infamous Dungeons & Dragons movie from 2000 demonstrated that adapting a tabletop game for the big screen can be challenging, even when there is a ready-made fanbase. Those who enjoy Warhammer 40,000 will hope that any involvement from Cavill will indicate a stamp of quality, if an on-screen adaptation of the universe's stories is ever made. And because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. <laughs> the ultimate responsibility is now on Games Workshop to create an engaging and lore true script, since the actor's remarks make it sound like being a part of any live action project would be a no-brainer. Whether or not the company decides to push Warhammer 40,000 onto the big screen, players will have to wait and see. However, they will undoubtedly be hoping that, if it does, Cavill can get involved and fulfill a genuine dream. See you in the next video!